They don't give a fuck about you, mm-hmm. me, our racist, or nothing else. Money matters at a certain point, yeah. and that's it. Mm-hmm. And that's my and piece. On this last one, I like to, uh, before we get in, because I just like to run the podcast for about an hour. Um, the other question I had about Nick Fuentes, and I may oh. be saying his name wrong, but I asked there, uh, any comments to be brief so uh, we can go on and end this session. I just want to know what you guys thought. I mean, I don't know. But I, I'm hearing that he's a former Klansman or something, but I don't know. But I'm just asking, what do you guys thought? If no one has any thoughts on that, we can get ready to end the session. Any thoughts on anybody? I don't have any. Okay. I do. It okay. just. It, uh, I'm going to claim ignorance on it, that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> it goes to the point that muddies the water for the Trump administration, former and if potentially new one that's possibly coming because he says he's running, that. There is deep-seated, rooted racism. The Trump administration, when it was alive and well, had 6% black cabinet members. Following uh, an Obama administration that had 29% black, but I also want to point out that that was his second term. His first term was only 6% black. Okay. Okay. So to prove that, again, it's not even about racism at that level. It's about money. When people complained that mm-hmm. he didn't have enough black people in his in his cabinet, well, then the next term came around, and what did he do? He flooded the cabinet with black people. Right. It's all bullshit, and it's all a game.